sneak attack in C minor for piano three students. Um, it's rather long, it's two full pages, but there's a lot of repeating in it. So the patterns are repetitive. And so once you learn them, it's not too hard. You do have to watch your counting. There's lots of rests, and some of the patterns are changed only by the type of rests they have. So make sure you know that the half rest gets two beats of rest, the quarter note rest gets one beat of rest, and the whole rest gets four beats of rest. And both, uh, all three of those are in there somewhere. Um, C minor, you're going to put your hands in a regular C position, but C minor, it does have black keys. You're going to move your middle finger down to the E flat. When you move back down to a black key, it's called a flat. And on your paper, it looks like a tiny little B in front of the note. Um, so your very first measure has C, C, E flat. There's your flat. It also has, the song also has A flat, which is just above where your finger, your finger number um, five in your right hand is. This is A flat. A is here, so you go down to the A flat. And I don't think you have it in your left hand. I'm kind of looking. No, you don't. The only one you have in your left hand is that E flat. Um, you've got staccatos. Remember, they're nice and short. Flicking helps, but you can't really do it with your thumb. Um, it also has dynamics, which is what you'll want to add when you finally get this the way you want it. Um, P for piano, very quiet. C-E-R-E-S-C -E in the second line means crescendo. You gradually get louder. F, forte, loud. You've got a D crescendo in line three, an arrow that's pointing to the right so that it goes gradually quieter. Um, let's see, what else do you have? And the very last note, of course, says FF, which is fortissimo, which is the loudest part of the song. Um, the fun thing about this song is you can add crazy sounds any place where both hands have a rest. So we did circle those in class. If your child was not there, they'll have to find them. Um, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12. I think there's 13 different places where you can make crazy sounds. There also are some places that have quarter note rests in both hands, but that's rather hard to put something in there unless you possibly want to try to clap. Um, I'm using a call bell, and I, if I remember, I'll try to clap on the quarter rests. I forgot in class to do it. Um, so I'm going to attempt to play this for you but not too fast because I want them to be able to follow along and I may pause a few places to tell you certain things you might need to know. So both hands, C minor position, middle fingers on the black keys. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Stretch for your A flat. I messed it up. <laughs> start on those last two measures. No, let's just start on the whole last line on the first page. Mm -hmm. 